Uh, you can hear it a little bit, but it's motherfucking crispier than a motherfucking ice chip ice on a chip cool mother- Sunday no. on the freezer. Hey, I just did a spray. Yeah. It's like motherfucking Thanksgiving on a Saturday. On yeah. a Saturday. Yeah, he's so, still young, man. He'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. If you, yeah, if you, I'd rather, I'd rather for him to be out because he's an artist. And they didn't say uh, for the whole time. I, I thought they were gonna say something about his music career. Or anything. No, no, he he can't talk about in his music. He has to do concerts. He has to do. I think it's four or five concerts um, against gang violence and against like guns and drugs and all of that. Mm-hmm. He can't talk about any type of gang activity or any gang anything in his music. Or it'd yeah, be a violation crazy. of probation. So basically, it was like Sibo. I don't know if people ain't heard of Sibo. It's old mm-hmm. school cats like me heard of Sibo. Yeah. But Sibo was a big, big drug dealer. I think, I don't, I don't know if it was Texas or the West Coast. I think Sibo was the West Coast. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I think Sibo was I think so. in California. But he got caught up in some in some stuff. Just like uh, some shit like Young Thug. He got caught up in some shit like Young Thug. And he actually got charged. And he went to prison for a while for it. They somehow he had got out by some um, slip of it. He he did something. Him and his people was was on it hardcore, mm-hmm. and he ended up getting out. When he got out, <laughs> they told him, "Listen, you can't talk about selling dope at all. You can't talk about gangbang at all. None of that." He's like, "All right, cool." I think his first couple weeks out out, he went straight to the studio and made like the hardest like. Gangsta, gangsta anthem ever, and they swooped him right back up. And I think to this day, Sebo might still be in prison to this day, <laughs> to this day, bro, because he had like he had some like fifty, sixty. I, I'm gonna years. look that. I'm gonna look that record up. Yeah, I want to hear that record. Yeah, I'm gonna like, look it up. Like Sebo, yeah, Sebo, and look, look up Sebo, man. He was he was the you dope ass I'm, rapper. I'm gonna look it up right now. Sebo, C dash B O E. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. No, not B-O-E, uh, C-B-O. But yeah, Sebo was uh, a beast. <laughs> and they, they had that man, <laughs> they told that man, listen, bro, you so synonymous with drug dealing, you can't even talk about it in your music. And if you do talk about it in your music, we got to shut you down. So what happened? Shut him down. <laughs> See Sebo? Yeah, that nigga Sebo. I think he, if I'm not... I'm mistaken, he was a crib. Yep. Which Sebo. one is yeah, I'm talking about. Which one? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is, I never heard of this guy. That's what I'm saying. It's interesting. Birds in the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> Birds in the kitchen. They they were telling him, bro. He, I told you, he was so synonymous with, he was so synonymous with, like. Yeah. Hold on, we ain't even got to, hold on, we'll do it right on here. Oh, yeah, hold on, we got. I forgot our technology done went up a little bit more. We paid Uncle Sam the other day. Mm-hmm. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Zebo, birds in the kitchen. He, he they told him, like, sir, you can't <laughs> you can't do any of this, but this one Sebo said. Sebo don't care. Sebo don't care. That's that's Sebo. He do what he does. Yeah. Birds in the kitchen. I forgot. I told you, Sebo was like this, you know tough. Saying? We, how uh, y'all say it? That's tough. That's how Sebo was. It's going down. I stepped out the house about noon on a hot sunny day, the 16th of June. Mm. Back 16th of June. Like about to get in traffic. Glanced at my pad. Uh. And back when and I got happy. 40 on here, so man. Thanks to my empty big Ike. And I grab my nuts on them boots that don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, yeah, see. Yeah, that's Sebo. He, he used to make music like that. And he basically, <laughs> they told him not to make it. And he made it anyway. And. Basically, he got locked back up for a, a gang of years. So, I'm just glad Young Thug ain't had to do that. Uh, he had to go through that. Right, I'm mad right. Sebo had to go through it. You know, I don't want nobody to have to go 
to prison over their own music, but you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm glad Young Thug is free. I'm glad uh, he got off what he needed to get off of and all that good stuff. So, free, Young Thug, you're free. You ain't gotta, we ain't got to keep saying it the other way around now. Just make some good music. Keep the positive vibe going, brother. Yeah, yeah. Switch you it up. I, I even listen to what you got to say now because, I mean, you can't really talk about too much except for positive struggle. vibes. Yeah, some positive vibes type shit. So let's see what you got. But moving that'll on. Be, that'll be great music, man. Yeah, I think it would. I think it'd be I think it'd be nice. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, changing pace. <laughs> I'm in the late. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can still talk about some, like, Everyday type of street shit, but he just can't involve that, himself. That nigga put it be like, if it ain't about money, don't be waking me up, <laughs> trying to make my line. <laughs> no, mess with my line. But yes, now, Ray J. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if y'all heard about the Ray J thing, but Ray J and Puffy Sons got into an altercation. Uh, the diddler and the diddlers. Yeah, yeah the diddler and the diddler. Diddlets. <laughs> the diddlets. The diddler and the diddlets. The diddlets, you know what I'm saying? Him and one half diddlet. Yeah, his little his little diddlets, you know what I'm saying, decided to run up on Ray J. Now, <laughs> they were about to square up, son. They were yeah. like, hey, man, I heard what you talked about my daddy. But I mean, we, seen, we seen the tape. You shouldn't talk right now, Ray J. I mean, Ray J, <laughs> everybody seen that tape. That's why I... Oh, I, no. I, I be ain't nobody seen the one with Pup Daddy and, and Oh, Disney. Pup Daddy and Ray J. No, they didn't uh, see that one yet. Uh, okay, yeah. Now I know. It's, I know it's what you're talking about. Now you talking about that, that one, that one, yeah, the one that goes around the industry. Cause Nicki Minaj was, niggas, nigga. She said, hey, "You ain't come out the closet yet." Like everybody's gonna know what it is. And I don't know what she's talking about. But then you think Nicki, you think Nicki another Jaguar, right? Hell no, nah. Nicki's a freak. She probably. I mean, she probably is a freak, but she think? probably like the next uh, uh, Lil Kim. Everybody got to be replaced, man. She probably got like twelve. Uh, she did. She, dozen. did she did her thing. Like Nikki did her thing, but no. Nah, but she's still a good MC, though. You know what I'm saying? Despite true. of what people say. Yeah, I mean, true. Everybody got their own fallacies. I, I bet you. That, I but. bet you. Everybody will ride with uh, Nicki Minaj before uh, Iggy Azalea, and they'll ride uh, with Cardi, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj before Iggy Azalea. But oh yeah. Iggy Azalea, she, she could ain't get a she, yeah, but she could get a face full of um, natural juices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Iggy ain't been Iggy got a son by a rapper, and she just been doing some Australian type of stuff or London type. I don't know, I forgot where she was from, but well, she's still making good money. Let's put it out there. But yeah, yeah, she's still, she probably got ventures and all that good stuff out there. So of course she making good money, but. It, Luckily, it's not through rapping because that's, it probably still is. She probably yeah, because she, she's songs. always rapping though. Yeah, she probably performing songs where she from and all that other shit. But yeah, but Ray J, man, what? Ray J. Ray you gotta J. stop Ray letting Ray you gotta stop letting people run up on you like that, bro. You really do. You really gotta stop letting folks like. I mean, I mean, he was gonna get the honeycomb dealers. But I gotta, d- I gotta give it to. I mean, I, I give props to. Diddy's son. They protecting their dad. I mean, they might know a different side of him that we don't know. But from everything we They probably know, seen the tapes. Yeah. I, man, just to know that your dad got, he out there like that. And it, it, Puffy looking at a lot of time. He looking at a lot of time. He might bro. not be, though. He might be looking at two years to max. Bro, they got tapes. He yeah. is looking at some time. It's no, he's not slipping out of this one. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. If he was to be able to slip, they, he, they would have took. He's slipping out just like all the thousands of thousands they of t- bottles they of took, baby oil that they seen in them pictures. <laughs> he's going to slip his silver right about that motherfucker. Hell no. Nah, they they, they took that $50 million from him if they was going to. Let him slide with some stuff. Then, then he's going to come out with a new record label, Bad Oil. Bad, <laughs> <laughs> Bad Oil. You, you was a fucking fool. <laughs> <laughs> that, that nigga get one of them. But yeah, Bray J, I, I guess know. leave Diddy them sons alone. I mean, it's his dad, so. It's the dad, so. I guess they in, you know, they in compliance with being real sons to their dad so I mean yeah. big ups but still Ray J stop letting people run up on you and finna piece you up one two one two style but I mean Ray J he got some he got plugs and, and all that stuff too plus I heard he had blood or something like that so 
or he's affiliated. Either way it go, you know, he got he got him a little backing. So I guess it wouldn't have just been no no one side thing. But I heard Chris Brown was the one that broke it up though. I I, I what I was reading from Chris Breezy, yeah. Yeah, I heard Chris Breezy was the one that basically broke it up and hey, calmed him down. Hey, um, but that nigga be calling out everybody. Yeah. Chris yeah, Brown. Yeah. Ain't nothing about it. He ain't, that nigga ain't soft, bro. No. All right. That, no they say that nigga before. like uh uh you ever seen that movie with uh this nigga um nigga that sing I feel good what's his name uh to do it I feel good that's yeah. Rick James I mean uh yeah that's Rick James no it's not not Rick James not Rick James no that's not Rick James I'm it's James Brown James what I, Brown what there am you I go. talking about yeah that's James Brown that's James Brown I said Rick James hey Rick that James. nigga <laughs> that nigga will fool bro he he'll cock it back a little bus now hey. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but. Yeah. I'm just glad it uh, didn't, nothing, you know, overwhelming happen. You know what I'm saying? There no guns. You know what I'm saying? Nobody get beat up. It wasn't a video about it. It was probably just the altercation and little nigga, yo, don't say that about my dad. Nigga, like, yo, fuck you. We fuck got, you. we seen, they like, the, the, the Diddy Boys was like, yeah, we seen the film, nigga. Yeah. We seen that. <laughs> we seen we the see, Hey, you ain't got no rights to talk right yeah, now. Yeah, you ain't got none, bro, because we, uh, we uh, let it go. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they didn't see some shit. Because I'm pretty Listen, sure their daddy was sadistic enough to show it to him. I, I don't know about all that, but they don't, you know, everybody don't want to put in their parents' bedroom when they ain't supposed to yeah, be in there. When you they, see yeah, what they, I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. I don't talk about people's families yeah. and shit, but just just think about what I just said. Yeah. Think about it one time. But mm -hmm. moving on from Ray J about to get jumped up and, and pumped up like Joe Button. Pause. Pause. You got to let, let me holler at you. You know what I'm saying? This is a special part of the show where I just take a, a subject that that's close to heart and just want to holla at the, the basis of it. Right. This Let Me Holla At You goes out to all the people that like lying for no reason. Y'all bitch ass motherfuckers. Stop making up stories. For real. That you put yourself in as superheroes. You're and not. Knowing that either you are the villain or you're an NPC. You know what I'm saying? NPC, sorry about that. You are an NPC, mm -hmm. just somewhere off in the crowd. Like, it'd be crazy the elaborate schemes that some people put into lies. Right. You know what I'm saying? To try to manifest it into the truth. Now, they do say most lies is based in truth, but you're you using like five percent of the truth to produce ninety five percent of a lie. So you're trying to manipulate the truth. Yeah. So you're manipulating that piece of the truth in order to coerce or coax someone into doing what you want or to listen to what you're talking about. And some people be lying to themselves so much that they don't even know they be lying. They just be lying. Yeah. Like, hey, listen, I am the biggest this, that, and the, and the third. I know. They probably like, nigga, where did you get that this, that, and the third? It's up north thing. But you got people that are, <laughs> you got people that are lying and say this, that, and the third, bro. And All the time. I say that a lot. It's, yeah, and then they turn around, and but I, yeah. it'd be a whole other story on the other end. And then yeah, that part. when they get caught lying, see, the reason I try see to practice what happened not lying. Was. Yeah, and the reason I try to practice and not lying or not being around people that like to lie for no reason, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a reason that you can lie. Let's say you in, got a gun held to your head, and if you can tell a, a white lie to go on to save your life, cool. Go ahead. That's what you need to do. If you well, hey. oh oh yeah, cause the, that's the, the shit the, you know every, everybody does that. But yeah. we take yeah, the, we gotta say the shit that be really happening, and it's a real deal a situation. Yes, and people decide to lie, yeah, lie in about order it. to gain either the camaraderie yep. or the beneficial financial attribute yep. because of that moment because situation and then you're gonna ride with this to the mm -hmm. day you die Lying but then the motherfuckers around you see what's going on and they can't believe that you're what? motherfucking doing all this shit you know why because he was cut from that cloth of a bitch made nigga and a bitch made bitch exactly. and there's no more breathing into that situation because you guys have the epitome of a fucking ant yeah. where I have no strengths than a fucking sloth because <laughs> your fucking shit piss poor performance and nope. this society don't like you guys. But we have to deal with you. 
Yeah, liars. We have to deal with you, and that's yes. the thing. Liars. That's the and then the thing is too. Uh, it, it, let's let's point it out right now. Mm-hmm. The motherfuckers that be sitting there catching somebody in the lie yep. be the main ones that be the motherfuckers that lie the that most and know how to lie, lie really good. fucking good. Real good. They lie so good that they convince themselves that they're not lying, and that's the most dangerous liars. A liar that convinced themselves that they're not a liar and everything that they're saying is the truth. We got a lot of people like that out here in the world. If you want to rise above most of this this mess, you kind of lead them people alone. Right. And when you look at them, you be like, yo, let me holler at you for a minute. I can't mess with you because you done told Sally this, and then you told Jacob that, and then you told Francois this. See, that's too many lies. That's Francois. too many people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's too and, many. And too Francois many. don't play, man. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. What if Francois... Francois... Caleb G. Yeah, what if Francois, one of the people that you done, you done lied to him and he'll go off the handle? And what if Jacob and, and Sally, they up over there, they want to they wanna bang on something too. Like, you know what I'm saying? They didn't came from the hood themselves. And they For was real. like, you know what? You lying on me. I'm finna have to give you these one twos, one twos. Because, you know, nowadays, yeah. how it is, you can't, you gotta. Yeah, because people's expectation is yeah. far from their reality. Yeah. And I, I be stressing that is because people feel entitled. And more, the most people that feel entitled be the ones that be lying about everything. It could be a serious situation, and you get caught with a fucking hammer yep. on video. Then you say, "No, I didn't shoot the motherfucker." No. But then you sitting down in the in in with the interrogation room, whatever yeah, how you call it, yeah, interrogation, interrogation room. room. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. And then you sitting there cold, and they give you a soda. Yep. Uh huh. And yep. then they give you a smoke. And yeah, guess mm-hmm. what? That's enough DNA that mm-hmm. they need. Yep. Sucker. You're out of there. Because they didn't got your DNA in. Your DNA and, and, doesn't and lie. Plus, and then you're on camera. Yeah. But you can lie about the camera, but that DNA don't lie. And that's how most people get found out anyway. Because they, you, there's so many stuff that goes on with that. But to the people that lie just to be lying. Fuck you. Yeah, why? Why? Stop it. Bitch Stop ass it. bitches. Bitch ass niggas. So, you with that shit. with that being said, now we hit the end of the video if y'all made it this far go ahead and leave like a comment that say y'all made it this far because cool and since we break it up in two parts if y'all watch this part and the first part then y'all yes. up. thank you we like we we like that too man good looking it's the same episode so it's basically getting the same amount of views at, at once but you know i'm trying to double it up just to make it more y'all go ahead and subscribe you know share I mean? so so comment. yeah Let's, let's get this movement going, guys. For yeah, real. Yeah, subscribe, man. share, like. Let's so get it going. Get this thing popping. But we just like to thank y'all for being here with us once again. The roundup is basically don't be snitching out here. Good looking, that young thug is free. Yeah. People that lie, just stop lying. Fuck you. Ray J. Fuck uh, you. Stay away from Diddy's sons because they don't really like you like that. And. That's about it, y'all. So we hope y'all enjoyed the video. For real. We hope you go back and watch some of the, the other episodes For that we real. got. And we hope y'all like, share, and subscribe. Also, be safe. Yes. And be easy out here in this be world. Easy. And stress-free. Yes. More peace and more positive vibes. For the whole land and for everybody that's watching, because yes. that's what we need as human beings: enough stress to be released, yep. and more peace to be inner, so you can have a great vibe through life, man. For real, I hey, wish that for everybody, for everyone, and ain't except too much, the bitch made niggas. It ain't, it ain't too much more to be said after that. So, I'm your boy Top Dot Man. Make sure you put two ends on the end of that thing, and don't forget the T's either. With my hey, co-host. Hey, hey, this is your boy, Gabe Crank underscore 3000. Don't forget the motherfucking underscore. Don't forget And it. like I say every time for the closing, if you see a bitch made nigga coming at your way, see you him. rebuke him in the name of a real nigga. In the name of a real one. Of we course. Gone, y'all. So. Pop out.